our brains are made for visual processing. Studies have found that our brain processes visual information 60,000 times faster than text. And most people respond better to visual information than text. This means that your website images are an essential element of your website and nowhere more important than on your home page. Web developers refer to the main image on your home page as a hero image, which is the one that your potential customers will first see. It will inform their split-second subconscious decision to either browse further or leave your site. So it is a vital element of your website. So a high-impact image with maximum relevance is what you're aiming for. So how do I go about this? Let's get into it. Unless you're an expert photographer, you'll most likely have to find your images online. Now this can be tricky as not all images online are for free to be downloaded and reused as many are copyright protected. This protection is automatically given to all original photographs and you don't have to register in order to get copyright protection, which will last for 50 years after your death. Yes, this means that all photographs that you have taken, even the personal ones on your cell phone, are copyright protected. You therefore have the right to distribute your images for free or charge for them. Now, most people choose to distribute their personal images for free using social media platforms. But some professional artists make a living out of photography and therefore understandably need to be paid for their work. So how do you tell if the online images are copyrighted, protected or not? Many people use Google Images to find something suitable for their website. Now, these searches display all images, whether they are copyright protected or not and then makes them available for free download. Now this can lead to unwittingly using an image which is protected, resulting in a copyright infringement. So it is much safer to use the advanced settings on Google to display only reusable images. This is not a very well-known method, but it will prevent you from using images that are protected by copyright. Now many web designers use free image websites such as Pixabay, Unsplashed, Flickr, or Librastock, which is a free stock photo search engine. So how do you select a good stock image? The image needs to portray the message and emotion your website is trying to convey. Now many stock photographs can look too staged and unnatural, so tread carefully. It should look as authentic as possible. A tip is to select a stock image in which the person is not looking directly at the lens, as this portrays a more natural look. If you'd like to direct your viewer's attention to a specific message, you can use an image where the person is looking in the direction of that text. Now the correct lighting of the subject is an important element of the image, so ensure that it is well lit. If you're planning to add text to the image, you need to ensure that there's enough space on the side of the image to insert it without compromising or crowding the image. The size of the image, especially the hero image, is important as it shouldn't be too big so as to slow down the site and frustrate your clients. Google has shown that increasing your page loading speed from 0.4 seconds to 0.9 can reduce traffic by 20%. So it's a good idea to optimize your high quality image by using tools such as TinyPNG or JPEG or Optimizer which reduces the size of the image allowing your site to load faster but without pixelating and losing quality in the image. In conclusion, don't use Google Images to find stock images. Choose a hero image that portrays the main message and emotion of your business. Where you can, choose authentic, unposed, natural images and pay attention to the size of the image to ensure that it is optimized for loading speed. Now, I hope this video has been helpful. So as always, remember, we are here to help.